little after hours operation here. Got to take some fertilizer out to this, out to my center pivot. My center pivot. So I got a tank out there so we don't have to drive through the field after the corn's planted. So, what? I have a tank out there. You said we. Mm. You gonna get out and hook the pin up? Sure. That was stressful. Which way is down? I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I'm doing it right. Half the time when I'm trying to learn how to do something, instead of teaching me how to do something, they just overcompensate and go over me and just do it and don't teach me how to do it and so then I don't learn. Okay so the jack used to be right here but that's the worst position ever for it but you could flip it up but the problem is the trailer wants to lean that way and then it rips off. So I welded it on right here but then you can't turn it so you take our handy little bolt here that's all we got it hasn't fallen out in like four years and you put it in there and you got it. You don't need a you don't need a hitch pin key because the first the first corn stock just knocks that out. So you just drop a longer pin in there. It's never falling off. You put the jack in the back of the truck that's pulling it because the next time that you'll need the jack is when you unhook that truck. Correct? Yep. Now this tub is my newest addition this year. You put that over the motor so I don't have to clean any more carburetors out because that was a three-day operation because they all got water in them because Briggs and Stratton are the worst possible motors on the well they got the worst gas caps on the face of the planet and then you get water in your gas therefore rusting out the tank therefore screwing up the carburetor so I'll never buy a Briggs and Stratton again Honda's only therefore that's my rant not Let's sponsored go. my rant is that you don't teach me how to do anything never leave the farm without checking the gas Mm. See what I mean though? They don't teach me anything. They just overcompensate. Reach <laughs> reach over me and then I don't learn. So if it's anyone's fault that I don't learn, it's theirs. Cause I would be a willing and active participant in learning. I am an active participant in learning because I love to learn. But people don't love to teach, apparently. Can I say something? Go for it. I told you to not let me back into the hitch because it's full and I didn't want to break my jack off. What happened? I'll let the viewer figure out what happened. It's literally on camera. Whoa! Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. Again. Okay. <clears throat> now we're going to take a weight on the scale and then when we weigh back empty, we'll know how much we had in the tank. Okay. I'll let you do the writing. You have better handwriting than me. Heard that. I don't know if this rig fits. 
pits on there. Ooh. Oh, I cannot see. This is a way action, I guess. 9500, exactly the same as a coin tractor. Such good handwriting. Thanks. Uh oh, looks like we're gonna play chicken with Roland. What was he doing? Running his finisher. Oh, I thought you were turning and you're pulling out in front of that vehicle, and I'm like, sir. This is my field that I spread my fertilizer in. I have so many fields now. Now this is going to be the interesting part to see if we can make it out there after it's all tilled up. Are you going to ruin anything by driving out there? No. Just might be stuck. Put her in four wheel drive. Hammer down. Think it's gonna go good? Well, yeah. If we've made it this far, I think we'll be fine. Kind of wish yeah, we would little, get a little soft there. I kind of wish we would get stuck just for some fun little action, but I don't want to deal with us getting stuck. So right. I've already got a contingency plan. If we do, a contingency. What? A <laughs> contingency. This is my irrigation. Brewster, did you know that you have a toy out here? Your frisbee is out here. So are we just emptying that tank into here? Yeah. And is what's in that tank similar to what Mason spread, but just... Yeah, it's the exact same thing. Well, not the exact same thing, but it's a liquid fertilizer instead of a... Dry. Yep. And then will it go out the entire season? Yep later in the season. Yeah, so the corn's probably knee high. By the 4th of July? Hopefully before then. So this is only a two inch hook up here and we got a three inch hose so here on the pump at idle so we don't blow the fittings apart. You been farming long? My whole damn life. Hmm. All the way from carpet to the real thing. Don't you Still wish... don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> don't you wish sometimes you could just be a carpet farmer? It's a lot cheaper. Although I don't know because I feel like farm toys 
are pretty expensive for the size and scale they are. Yeah. So. Is a 164th size tractor 164th of the price of a new one? That's a good question. Oh, Bree's getting her tore up frisbee over there. So if you're wondering how this makes any sense, so what happens is there's a, this is a control panel for the pivot. Hi, pivot. So that's the run screen. And then right here, we've got an adapter cord because we need to make one for this one. Plugs in under the box right here. And then it goes to a little injection pump. And then somewhere on here, there's a, you turn on the chem pump. You can do it from your phone too. But um, it'll inject somewhere in here. Oh, yeah. Right here. So you get a hose that goes up to this. And then this is a one-way valve with a little ball and a spring in it. So what happens is there's a piston pump that pumps fertilizer in there and goes sh -sh 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 into here, like maybe like a shot glass at a time, like an ounce or two at a shot. And then it goes out with the water and gets spread on the field. And the reason you have to have a chuck valve in here is because if the, if the pump were to stop, the pressure in the pipe would go backwards into this tank and then it would just fill up with water therefore pushing all the fertilizer out on the ground so that's why you have to have a check valve it's like a 200 dollars check valve but it's a lot more money in fertilizer big bucks in the wise words of national lampoon's christmas vacation the crapper's full not quite full. You can go here. Oh, well, so close. Cool. There you go. Move. Do you take it back or just leave it hooked up? It's up to you. Let's just take it back. So we kind of like to get as many forms of nitrogen out in the field as we can like at so this sand is very or this soil is very sandy so the nitrogen goes away really quick versus like a heavier soil it'll stick in it better so like on this sand like emily just the other day you saw she or yesterday actually right she put out dry fertilizer with some nitrogen with mason and then obviously we just put this nitrogen in the tank and that won't, the only reason I'm doing that right now is because uh, I don't want to drive out into the middle of the field after the crop is planted. Now, now it's just out there for the middle of summer basically. And then when I spray it, I'll spray some nitrogen out there too. And then later on, like when the corn's like knee or knee high probably well, uh, Mason will go out and spread it again but he'll be going down the rows that time instead of just driving through the field so I probably won't be driving <laughs> no probably not no auto steer there oh they're getting ready to go planting yeah do you get like antsy when you see other people planting no why not because we're usually first. Would you like me to unhook it? No, I can do it. Okay, okay. okay so put the jack on there. Pull the bolt out. That way. I 
Keep, no, I'll keep going. Now you can pull it out. Pull on it. Stick it through the hole. It's not, no. Okay. That's good. It's up high enough. Now unhook the chains. You can unhook the chains. <laughs> That'd be a bad day. I, I usually hang them like this. I, I got it. I know what you do. No, yeah, that'll work too. Mm. I usually go right here. No, well, that's better. You're right. It probably is. I've never tried to do that. Now you got to grab the tub out of the back. Put it on there, nice. That is nice. What do you say? It's a you great day to make no. Some you smack it. What do you say? Slap the bag. No. <laughs> I don't know what you want me to say. That ain't going nowhere. That's going somewhere. <laughs> Are you the captain now? All right, thanks for coming along on this little post work operation. Where are you going? I'm rolling the potholes. Oh. That's it for this video. Short little yep. situation. Where are you going? To Culver's. Oh. Hmm. Look at that. You gonna put me in the film or no? No, I was looking <laughs> there. I was looking at the cows. You show the cows? Cows. Dirty window. And bright sunlight, but I was looking at the cows, so I was distracted. Anyway, okay, I guess we're going to Culver's, but that's going to be it for this cheeky little video. Um, hope you enjoyed. Let us know in the comments if you made it this far in the video what you are looking forward to most of watching from us this upcoming planting season. And if you like these, like, short little videos, like, one little project like this or do you like kind of a montage of things that's going on because like i mean really we only did one thing and we got a full video out of it which happens a lot easier when you're here to film because i'm the star yeah yeah because i have two hands not three anyway but yeah let us know do you like these like short little one like i just said like short little one project videos or would you rather see like kind of a little clips of things that happen all day because it's kind of harder to make like a, a plot with that well your plot is your day i know but it's like because a lot of times like we'll be doing one thing and then and then you forget about the rest yeah and then i forget that I and then i did like two things between the next time i film and then it just makes no sense at all so then i just give up i'm like you know what nobody even cares about this and then I come and remind them that people care. Anyway, I'm, I went because, on, on a tangent there, but just let us know. Yeah. Thanks for watching. See, See you, you next time. time.